In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called using a given zero to write a polynomial as a product of linear factors, real zeros. We're given the polynomial here, g of x, and we're asked to express it as a product of linear factors and also told that negative three is a zero. So I'll start with the negative three is a zero. That means that x minus a negative three or x plus three must be one of the factors of the polynomial. But at this point, I don't know what the rest of the polynomial is gonna look like. But since x plus three is a factor, I can do either synthetic division or long division using the x plus three and the original polynomial. For this example, I'll set it up as long division. For long division here, we didn't need any placeholders because we have each power after the highest power represented. And I start by looking at the leading terms. x3 under the radical divided by x outside of the radical gives me an x squared. So I know that my first value will be an x squared. And I can then multiply the x squared times the x to get x cubed. And then multiply the x squared by the three to get three x squared. And then I would want to subtract this just as in long division. So that would be the same as changing each of these signs and adding. So the x3s cancel, and this adds to a negative 6x squared. Bring down the next term, minus 11x. And again, I look at the leading terms. This time, negative 6x squared is divided by the x on the outside, leaving me a negative 6x. So my next term is a negative 6x, I again multiply negative 6x times x, negative 6x squared, negative 6x times 3, a negative 18x, and to subtract, I'll again change the signs. This time they both become positive and add, adding the first terms again cancel. Negative 11x plus 18x gives me a positive 7x. Bring down the last term, the plus 21, I'll again look at these leading terms. This time 7x divided by x is seven. So my last term here is a seven. Multiplying by seven and the x gives me a seven x. Multiplying the seven and the three gives me a plus 21. And I do my subtraction one more time by changing the signs. And this time I notice that both terms cancel so I don't have a remainder which is what I would have expected since the x plus three is supposed to be one of the factors. And I've simplified it now to x plus three times x squared minus six x plus seven. However, we were asked to write the factors as all being linear. So I would need to continue by factoring this quadratic to two linear terms. However, if I were to try to factor that by trial and error or the AC method, Neither of those are going to work, but I can always use the quadratic formula to find the zeros. Recalling that for the quadratic formula, we have negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Here my a is 1, my b is a negative 6, and my c is 7. So with those substitutions, negative b would be the opposite of negative 6, so a positive 6 plus or minus the square root b squared. b is again negative 6, but when we square it, we would have a positive 36 minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 7, all over 2 times a, which again is 1. So as we start to simplify this, we can see we have 6 plus or minus the square root 36 minus 4 times 1 times 7 is minus a 28 over two times one is two. Continuing under the radical, 36 minus 28 would be eight. And since the eight can be written as four times two, we can bring the four out of the radical by taking the square root. And this would be six plus or minus, the four comes out as a two square roots. The other two stays under the radical over two. And lastly, we can simplify this since each term in the numerator has a two factor, I could bring that two out and be left with three plus or minus the square root of two. And since this is over two, 
these twos cancel, and I'm left with two zeros. Three plus the square root of two, and three minus the square root of two. And just as before, when we were given the original zero here of minus three, the opposite of each one of those zeros is going to be what forms our factors. So we've got the original x plus three, and then we would have x minus the first one, so x minus a three plus the square root of two, and then an x minus the second one, which is three minus the square root of two. I would take one more step here just to simplify those. Distributing that negative, this is x minus three minus the square root of two, and x minus three plus the square root of two. These are three linear factors from the original g of x.